There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, printer corners, and other stuff too. All right, next up we're going to be doing the gripper, which is going to mount onto the forearm on the robot. So that's going to go right kind of on the end here. And there's really two parts where the servos go. One part is going to do the wrist, and the other part is going to do the, the gripper. Um, I ended up having to order these servos separately because, unfortunately, the servos did not come in my kit. Um, I did contact JJ Robots, who makes the kit, and uh, they gave me a credit, so I was able to pick these up. They do recommend using SG92R servos, as opposed to, um, I actually had some SG90s that I had laying around from another project. Um, the problem is, is these just, they don't have the same strength. Um, these also, my understanding is they have a carbon fiber gear, so they're a little bit stronger. Uh, although I do think they're roughly the same, pretty much the same size. So if you have SG90s, they're a lot easier to find. They're just probably not going to last as long. Okay, for this step, you're going to need your gripper. Um, the one that has the spot for the bearing. You're going to need a 603ZZ bearing, which should come in your kit. And you're just going to insert that bearing in there. If it doesn't go in real easy, I would, which mine isn't, um, you might want to just double check it and make sure there's there's nothing in there that's kind of causing it. And then you're going to insert your M3 15 millimeter screw with a washer in through this side. And that's pretty much all there is on that stuff. So on mine, you can see that there's a little bit of a filament from um, where it started and stopped that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and go in there and kind of just file that down a little bit. I also use these X-Acto knives. Um, you can get a, sometimes humps, little humps like that are easier and just kind of go around and clean it out a, just a tiny bit. Probably don't need to do a whole lot, but uh, if you do have that problem, um, it's, a, it's a very easy fix. So I usually just, you know, you don't want to do too much either because you don't want it too loose. Okay, after clearing a little bit of material out, I was able to get the bearing in there. Um, now I just have to insert the screw. So it's going to go through like this. There we go. That's how it should look. All right, now we're going to put the servo um, inside of the arm here, or the gripper. It's just going to slide in like that. And then you're going to put the horn eventually on top of here. I did have to file a little bit in order to get this to fit. Um, the width uh, was just fine, but the length for some reason was a little off. And I'm guessing it's because I'm using different servos, but they're very close. So a little filing wasn't too bad. And then you're going to use, there's um, some self-tapping screws that come in the servo bag that you're going to use to secure that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put those in and then they should just, yeah, they just kind of bite right in. It might be a little bit of a tight fit, which it is, but that's how you know it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. All right, so I got that one in, and I just need to repeat on this side. All right, I'm just going to finish this one up. Same drill. The wire makes it a little more challenging, but not too bad. Just be careful when you're screwing it not to bend the wire too much. Ooh. So this one's going to, this one's a little different because it's actually poking through that hole there. So I don't know if that's going to work real well. I, what I might do is, um, yeah, I don't think it'll be a problem because I believe your screw head's on this side. If it's not, I'll have to back that out to get it in. Okay, on this next step, we're going to attach the arm or the horn, servo horn. Um, it fits in this right here. Make sure you get the side that attaches to the servo out facing out. So I'm just going to insert it there. You might have to shave it down a little bit if you have a tight fit. And then um, your servo is going to go, is going to insert in there just like that. So that's what spins the wrist. And then we're also going to have to screw in this M2 or 2.5. I didn't have um, the right size of my kit, so I'm using a nylon one. So I think they must have had that screw in the kit with the servos. 
but it says to use an M10 um, to screw it in. So I did check this, and it'll it'll it should fit. I may have to shorten it a little bit, but it might be a little challenging to screw it in there, finding the hole. There we go. But you're just basically gonna that's gonna just hold the servo horn there and the servo. I don't know if it's gonna go all the way in or not. I'm gonna give it a shot here and see what happens. Yeah, it seems to be going on. Okay. All right, I think it's as far down as it can go. Yeah, there we go. So now it shouldn't come out. And that little screw that I had, that I thought was in the way is not a problem. So you can see kind of down the hole there. So there's no clearance issue there. All right, yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape now. I might have to adjust the servo later, but that's easy, I just take the screw out. Okay, now we're gonna set the rotation on the servo um, for the clamp. So this is an important step. Um, basically, you're gonna put your servo horn on there, turn it as far as possible as it can go um, counterclockwise. And once, after you do that, you wanna lift it out. Actually, it's a little challenging. So you wanna lift it out and then you wanna put it on. Yeah, so it's um, vertical. Unfortunately, I didn't do a very good job there. So you wanna put it on so it's pretty much perf perfectly uh, perpendicular to the printed plastic. Yeah, that's pretty close, but I'd st I still wanna get it just right. But you get the idea. So once it's like that, now it's gonna make sure it can't go back that way. The other thing you need to do is you gotta cut it halfway through the third hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. I just took a pair of scissors, heavy duty scissors, and cut them like that. So that's how it should look. Okay, after you cut it, just plop it back on and it should look something like that. And then just double check that you can't move it left or counterclockwise. So I can move it clockwise, which is good, so. All right. Okay, now we're gonna attach the nail, which is this piece, one of the nails, to the servo. <clears throat> First thing we're gonna do is rotate this 90 degrees, which is what the instructions say, clockwise. Should be the only way you can rotate it. And then you're gonna put the nail on it. So there's a little groove here where it should fit over the servo horn. And then basically we'll go like that. And then you're gonna use the self-tapping screw. Probably be a good idea to start the screw before you connect it. This one's not too bad. All right, so now we're just gonna go on here. And you want the little gears towards the other servo. So it's, a, it's actually a fairly loose fit on that servo horn, surprisingly. Then you're just gonna tighten it down. Okay, that's in. All right, you, you should have pretty good rotation on it. Um, so it's gonna go probably further than it needs to, but it'll lock right there. I think I'm gonna put a washer underneath it because I don't want that too loose. Probably doesn't matter, but it's not gonna hurt putting a washer under it. Build it out just a little bit. They definitely give you plenty of washers in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put two. I have other washers if I need them. But it seems like about two would do it. Okay. And yours might not be this way. I don't, I'm not, oh, I'm not sure why mine are. Okay, I got it in the two washers, seem to be a snugger fit. However, um, I do notice there's a little bit of a, well, quite a bit of backlash there. So I'm not sure if that's because my servo horn is a different size or if that's actually how it's supposed to be designed. So I do not know. Um, thinking about it, I know it's it shouldn't really matter too much. Um, so I think it's probably all right. But I guess I'll find out soon enough. 
and worst case, um, I could probably just put something in there to hold it if I don't want that lash. But I'm thinking that as it turns, it might be all right as the servo moves. Okay, for the next nail, um, basically I dry fit it and this screw just goes through the bearing. So I think that's pretty much all there is to it. And it should allow the servo to open and close. So I'm just gonna screw that in. Okay, on this step, I ended up getting a little overzealous with reaming the, the hole on the bottom because it was a little tight. So I ended up um, putting a slightly longer M3 screw in and then I put a little lock nut at the bottom. I'm hoping I don't have any issues with that. I don't believe I will, but the arm seems to be functioning properly now. So the next step is gonna be setting it on the arm. Okay, before I put the wrist or the uh, gripper on the arm, I'm gonna secure a couple of M3 six millimeter screws and these are gonna be used for the rubber band. So you just put one on either side in these two holes here. Okay, I've got the rubber bands on now. You can see those definitely close pretty well. Um, you are, there's also some foam somewhere and that gets cut and put on the edges here. Seems to be moving good. There's nothing catching it. So I think it's in pretty good shape. All right, this last step is uh, before you mount the arm or the gripper to the arm is pretty tricky. Um, the wire has to be on top. Unfortunately, it won't fit with the wire in there. So this isn't documented, but I'm assuming this is what you do. So I'm gonna take this off, this top piece, and then I should be able to bring the wire through. So these are really tiny screws. Be very careful, try not to lose them. Pretty long screws too. Okay, once you get that lid off, you're gonna just carefully feed it through and then bring the servo up. There we go. And then um, you can put the lid back on, but you might wanna secure the servo before you do that. When you're putting this back together, make sure you don't pinch any of the wires that are coming out on the case. It's pretty easy to do. Basically all I have to do is insert the self-tapping screws um, into here. It's going to be a little tricky with the angle, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, I now have the wrist uh, secured to the arm. Um, this is how it's mounted. I went ahead and routed that servo wire through as well. 